guys, how you doing? It's your girl, your very own cream de la cream, Michelle Abanum, right here on the show. And you know when I come, just comes also because I'm going to be giving you trending stories, making headlines in the world of entertainment. Speaking of gist, some people are dog walking. They are literally cat walking to the bank because it is cash out time for a particular Nollywood actress in the industry. Us around the show will bring to you all the very amazing segments of Celebrity Woman Crush of the Week and also so we are talking to some people in the streets of Lagos about this very amazing topic. This is not something you'd love to meet, so you have to stay put. On this note, I welcome you to the greatest entertainment show of all time, Entertainment Time Out, right here on Iron TV. guys if you're just joining us this is entertainment time out right here on Iron tv now let's go get some hot gist speaking of hot gist on our number one omogeto has done it again as it crosses 500 million naira in box office the blockbuster is officially the first nollywood film to cross 500 million naira in nigerian box office it is currently regarded as the biggest nollywood release of all time which has maintained the number one spot in six consecutive weeks according to a can report the movie which has maintained the number one spot for six weeks in a row has broken nollywood's box office record with a cumulative revenue of 500 million 449,050 naira. The latest record comes barely a week after it surpassed Kemi Adeti as the wedding party smashing its four-year record. Guys, if you've not seen this Omogeto movie, you are on a very long thing. I mean, this movie is making waves in the industry and you should be hungry to be a part of this wonderful blessing. Congratulations, Auntie Funke. We are so happy for you right here on Iron TV. Yes, I know some of you are already heading. In fact, you're leaving this video right now and heading over to our page to go and tell her, Congratulations, Auntie Funke. I'm very happy for you. And also, some of you will go ahead to say, Auntie Funke, please do give away. Hold on, I have a word for you. And I'm going to be saying this with a very straight face. I have a problem with friends who cannot just celebrate their other friends that make waves without asking for something. That is a very wrong thing to do, guys. You shouldn't do that. All I'm trying to say in essence is that Auntie Funke is a very nice and wonderful person and I just cannot wait to celebrate as the winner of this particular giveaway for this wonderful celebration. Moving on to news number two, Etinosa Idemudia is saying, when will Edo people have sense? Before you go on to start shading her, this was what she said to Davido's aide Israel DMW after DJ Copy threatened to sue him. Nollywood actress Etinosa Idemudia has shown shades at one of Davido's aide Israel DMW after DJ Copy threatened to sue him over the comments he made about her collaboration with Zlatan. DJ Copy and Zlatan Swift got to the knowledge of the public after she revealed that he had blocked her on social media. The movie star took to her Instagram stories where she took a swipe at Israel. Idemudia believes Israel DMW should have stayed away from DJ Copy and Zlatan's beef. When will Edo people have sense? You put your mouth for Yoruba people fights when they no call your papa name. Now, now you the one sue. Suzani, you never know so I see she wrote it would be recorded that on January 21st 2020 Israel DMW a self-acclaimed friend of Zlatan took to his Twitter and wrote that kudos to someone like Zlatan who took a bold step by flushing out a full fake friend like copy who was just using his head all in the name of my papa na ote dola. Zlatan did a hit collabo with her, Ordinary One Cobo in OC. She also took Zlatan to Abuja for her fundraising where she made billions of naira and didn't even remember Z for One Cobo till tomorrow. No accommodation, no feeding. Zlatan had to even spend his own money to cater for everyone including me. This na 2021 I beg. It didn't take long before the billionaire Harris responded to Israel's claims. She also threatened to sue him for libel and defamation. Israel, who hails from the central part of Edo State, is a known diehard loyalist to Davido and his crew. So guys, I have actually been following this story for quite a while, so I kind of understand where Etinosa is coming from, although there were some hints of tribalism in her posts, but then it's okay and I understand where she's coming from. It all started when Copy came out to say Zlatan blocked her on 
social media. And then Zlatan had an interview on TV where he said he didn't know copy. But what I don't understand and what I am trying to understand is our Uncle Israel, all the way from Davido's cabinet. How did you put your mouth and how did you come into this issue? Anyways, guys, that is all we have right here on the news segment. But do not go anywhere because I'll be back with our celebrity woman crush of the week. Do not go anywhere, guys, because I'll be right back. Powerful looks command respect, they say. The perfect body. The perfect grooming and ultimately the perfect skin. Looks, style, and grooming makes the ultimate man. I've found a ridiculously easy way to make my skin always feel epic. I found Blemiviv and now my skin finally makes sense. Welcome back guys. If you're just joining us, this is Entertainment Time Out right here on Iron TV with your cream de la cream, Michelle Abanum. Moving on to the segment we all love, the Celebrity Woman Crush of the Week. Trust me, this woman is one in a million. She's literally one. In fact, I've used one in a million before. So right now she's one in a trillion. She's an amazing woman. She's an actress. She's a singer. Trust me, she's one you would love to know. Let me not prolong this issue further. She is Tone to DK. Tonto Charity DK, born on the night of June 1985, is a Nigerian actress, singer, songwriter, and humanitarian. On 27th August 2000, Tonto DK set up her foundation, the Tonto DK Foundation. The foundation was established with clear vision and passion of making life better for all displaced and underprivileged women, girls, youth, and children in Africa. Following a successful acting career, DK decided to pursue a music career. Prior to that, she was featured in a music video for Amako Investments alongside Patience Ozoko. She made her music debut by releasing the singles High and It's Over, the latter of which features Sniper. On 13th June 2015, Nigerian singer Diband signed her to his record label, DB Records. Later on, DK announced her departure from DB Records. Her family is from Obiakpo, a local government area in River State, and is of equal descent. At age three, she lost her mother and was raised by her stepmother, who has two children. DK studied petrochemical engineering at River State University of Science and Technology. A traditional marriage to Ola Dunisha Chu was held in August 2015. In February 2016, DK gave birth to her son, who she nicknamed Baby X. However, since then, the couple has gone and moved different ways. Tonto DK is a multi-talented Nigerian star who has won several awards in her career and bagged many endorsements. Besides acting, she's also a musician. Her estimated net worth is 1.5 million US dollars. So guys, that is who we are crushing on right here on Ivan TV, our very own Tone to DK. We love you and we are so proud of you. You guys, you know weddings are very memorable, like it is just really personal and there are some specific songs you just want to vibe to on your wedding. So I was asking myself this question, what song would I really love them to play on my wedding day? And then we decided to take it to the streets of Lagos. Let's hear what they have to say as we'll ask them this very question. Simi Dakolo Ruka, because I just love his music. I like Bank a lot by Paulo Koye Pisco, he's my ogre. The kind of music I like is um, John Legend, something slow, share. like all of you. I like the music because it's kind of emotional and it keeps me doing you know, some kind of vibes. In my wedding day, the song that I will play in my wedding day is Ada Ada by Flavor. On um, my wedding day, I would like to, I would like you guys to play me Omukati Dawari by Peace um, Sonny Neji. So anytime I listen to the track, I feel amazing. It's okay. So I love the track. In my wedding day, I would like the song I would like to sing is "Will You Marry Me, Sweet You?" I want to marry you, honey. I love you, honey. 
Because it's a song I like, it's very nice. That's why I like the song. And that's the song I would like them to sing for me so that I can like to dance it very well. Perfect by Ed Sheeran. And the reason why I want the song to be played on my wedding day is because I feel that I met the perfect man, just like the perfect match. You know, relationships are not always easy, but when you find someone you're compatible with, then you're good to go. So I feel the song is in line with um, the story behind my relationship. So guys, those were really amazing replies. Like, I really loved those songs they were, and they are, they are very nice songs anyways. Shout out to the artist. I know you're looking at me and asking, what song would you love to be played on your wedding day? Now, I have to sing it so you'd understand why I love the song. Hello, my love. I've been waiting for someone like you. Yes, I know I don't have a very wonderful voice, but this song, they must actually play it on my wedding day. Because trust me, it is not easy to find a man, a man that you actually want. So guys, we've come to the end of another beautiful episode of Entertainment Time Out right here on Iron TV. Do not forget, you can always reach out to us on our comment section telling us your celebrity man crush or woman crush of the week. And you can also tell us what song you would love them to play on your wedding day. Do not forget, you can like and share this video. Actually, please like and share this video. Thanks for watching. Till I come your way next time, this is Entertainment Time Out right here on Iron TV. And I, your Queen Della Queen, Michelle Avanou.